Well, good morning, everybody. Seems that we have um, a pretty harrowing situation. A woman locked in crocodile's grip for 90 minutes rescued. See this video. Whoopsies. Oh, could you imagine? That barely leaf, it looks like water. I'm wondering if it wasn't that big of a crocodile because it wasn't able to really get her under all that crap. I don't look great. I know, man. Not. I already don't know why I never. And I thought they would show more. Of course they don't. It was nearly a crocodile done deal. God. <laughs> oh my gosh, New York Post out here making jokes. A palm plantation worker in Indonesia is lucky to be alive after a crocodile, a crocodile dragged her into a swamp where it held her for an agonizing 90 minutes before she was rescued. The video of the Lake Placid evoking clip is currently blowing up online as viewers marvel at how she escaped the jaws of death. I couldn't break free, Falmira de Jesus, 38, told viral press of the heroin attack, which occurred uh, while, on, uh, while on July 27th she was working on a palm plantation in the Katapang Regency of West Kalimantan province in Indonesia. According to resort police, the victim had reportedly been collecting water by a reed-covered creek when a crocodile lunged at her and dragged her into the body of water. The mother, mother of two fought fiercely with the beast before calling for help, whereupon fellow employees rushed to her aid. You see, it grabbed her by the leg. Um... I lie in the hospital and can see the crocodile in my mind and feel it on my body, said victim Falmer, Falmira de Jesus, 38. That sucks. The nail-biting footage shows Falmira submerged up to her neck in the weed-choked pond uh, as the unseen predator attempts to drag her to a watery grave. She suddenly disappeared beneath the surface as is sucked down by quicksand, prompting a worker to reach toward her with a pole to attempt to fish her out. I was in pain from where the croc was holding me, recounted the petrified palm worker. Then I started to feel like I was becoming weaker. I just thought I was going to die because I was falling below the water. Crocs are ambush predators that kill their prey by holding them underwater until they drown. At that time, the victim was about to fill the water tank, said Katapang Resort Police Chief Tommy Ferdinand. Please, please. Suddenly, a crocodile attacked her. Man, it doesn't even look like water right there. I mean, I've seen creeks like that, I guess. Just not that thick. It's crazy. This particular croc reportedly held onto the woman for a whopping 90 minutes as the employees tried to rescue her from its trash compactor grip. The Samaritans uh, were reportedly too afraid to climb into the water for fears that they might suffer the same fate. Thankfully, help arrived... Uh, and dragged Falmira out of the mire, um, which, uh, after which she was rushed to the Amanudin Hospital with deep puncture wounds on her right leg, thigh, and lower leg, police reported. Doctors monitored her co constantly as they were uh, concerned that her bites might become infected. Despite surviving the frightening ordeal, Falmira claimed that she... Uh, could still see the crocodile in her mind while lying in the hospital bed. I am grateful for people who helped me to escape. The crocodile attack survivor gush. Jeez. Mm. They, they saved my life. Currently, her condition remains unclear. In the light of the incident, authorities are, um, are warning uh, that the workers remain cautious while on resort grounds. Why do they keep on calling it a resort? We urge workers and residents around the plantation. There you go. To be more vigilant about the existence of these wild animals, implored Kennepang Resort Police Commissioner Tommy Ferdinand. Ferdin. So, in this, where they they are, there are saltwater crocodiles, and saltwater crocodiles are protected, and you can't just go and kill them like you can with alligators. 
Like, even if they attack and kill somebody, like, Lolong, Lolong killed, like, three people. And it took the third person for the government to finally be like, fine, you can capture it. Like, that's how they don't care. Like, the, <laughs> it's an animal that lives there and you gotta deal with it, is their motto. I don't necessarily think they're wrong either. Indonesia is reportedly home to 14 species of crocodiles, the most dangerous, which is the estuarine or saltwater variety, which can go 20, uh, 3 feet long and weigh 2,200 pounds. Um, I don't understand where it can grow 23 feet long because there hasn't been a 23 foot long crocodile found, so I don't know what their deal is. A uh, known man-eater, this ferocious predator can chop prey with a bite force of 3,700 pounds per square inch. It was strongest in the animal kingdom. Conservationists believe that the critter... Uh, have been driven further inland to prox in proximity to human habitations due to a variety of factors. These include habitat loss from the conversion of coastal regions into farmlands and overfishing, which has caused the croc's food source to dwindle. The combi uh, this combined with the fact that locals frequently use waterways for bathing and fishing has created a perfect storm for crocodile attacks. So yeah, unfortunately... It's not just residing in the Eastern Hemisphere that it, that has to be on guard for crocodiles. Last summer, two U.S. tourists were mauled by one of the predators from Mexico's popular Puerto Vallarta resort after one went for a nocturnal dip in the ocean and the other followed him in the water to help. Yeah, but that's not the same kind of crocodile. At all. And that's kind of like reaching. That's kind of reaching. Like, honestly. Well, at least she survived, luckily enough. And, uh, yeah, there's, um, there's been a lot of incidents lately of crocodile attacks. Ooh, I did not mean to do that. A lot of incidents of crocodile attacks recently, and it's kind of sad. And apparently an incident of somebody turning themselves into a dog. Right there, look at that. Man spends $14,000 to transform himself into Kali, steps out for the first ever walk in public. What does the world come to? Honestly. Glad she's all right. Oof. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the situation. I'll see you in the next one. Keep it wild.